Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. Let's talk about Russell Westbrook. Despite having a horrible shooting night, Russ was terrible. Despite all that, he showed up when it mattered the most. In the fourth quarter, vintage Russ came to play. So Russ showed up in the biggest moments. Even though he shot horrible all night, 3 for 19, he was horrible for the first three quarters. I'm not going to lie, but when the game was on the wood, Russell Westbrook came up big. He had multiple offensive rebounds, played great defense. He gave them so many second chances. Russ was big, man. Energy, effort, offensive rebounds. He also won the game, got fouled, went to the line, hit both free throws, and he blocked Devin Booker which sealed the win for the Clippers. Kawhi was a monster also, but we're going to talk about Russell Westbrook because we know what Kawhi is going to do. Playoff Kawhi is a real thing. So despite all Russell Westbrook did in the fourth quarter, and even when he wasn't shooting so well, he was still giving you great defense, effort. He played hard. If Russ didn't play the way he did in the fourth quarter, the Clippers would have lost his game. The game ball goes to Russ. I say all that to say this. Despite all that, guess what? Skip Bayless still can't give this man his props. So on Twitter, Skip Bayless is highlighting his 3 of 19, basically trying to downplay him. And it's sad, man. Like, this man have a problem. No matter what Russell Westbrook do, it doesn't matter how he plays. Skip Bayless still find a way to be negative and to throw this man under the bus. So despite him having a masterful fourth quarter, And he's the main reason they won the game. He's the main reason. Yes, Kawhi was awesome. Kawhi played great. But if Russ don't make those big plays in the fourth, back to back to back, multiple offensive rebounds, great defense. If Russ didn't do what he did, the Clippers would have lost this game. So Russ basically put it on himself, even though he's shooting bad. And he was terrible. He never let his shooting or his offense Stop him from playing great defense and hustling and playing hard. Everybody who saw the game knows if it wasn't for Russ, they would have lost. And despite all that, Skip Bayless still can't give this man any props. Can't tip his hat like great game. He played great. Skip is always taking shots. So after the game, he posted Russ is 3 of 19 and he's talking his normal nonsense. By now, it's obvious. Skip have a deep issue with Russell Westbrook, and I don't know what it is. What did Russell Westbrook do to Skip? Skip have a serious problem with Russell Westbrook. So no matter what Russell Westbrook do on the court, good or bad, Skip is going to have the same energy. He's going to be negative. You know, he's going to highlight all Russ's flaws. He's going to make blooper reels. And it's sad, man. It is sad. So the reason why Skip is cheering for the Suns and not the Clippers is because they signed Russell Westbrook. So once they signed Russell Westbrook, Skip was like, you know what? I'm off this train. Because they signed Russell Westbrook, I'm no longer supporting the Clippers. And that's crazy. So now Skip is supporting Kevin Durant. We know Skip liked Kevin Durant. That's obvious. But he also liked Kawhi Leonard. But the reason why he's not supporting the Clippers is because they signed Russell Westbrook. So no matter what Russell Westbrook does, good or bad, Skip is going to always talk down on him. You know, he's going to always highlight his flaws. And he does that with no one else. LeBron could have the worst game of his career. Skip won't talk down on him. And it's sad, man. I don't know why. I don't know what Skip Bayless' problem is. Like, what is his issue with Russell Westbrook? It's beyond basketball. Like, his bias and his hatred toward Russell Westbrook, it's not healthy. Like, what is his problem? Despite all that, Russell Westbrook played terrible. For three quarters, he was terrible. I'm not going to make excuses. He played horrible offensively. But in the fourth quarter, when it mattered the most, Russ was the best player on the Clippers in the fourth quarter. Why? Because of defense, rebounds, effort. He even got blocks. He did everything you could possibly want to win a game. And they won the game because Russ was hell-bent on winning that game. He had the most heart on the court. Despite his bad shooting, 
And this shows you that you don't have to be the best shooter. You don't have to have a great offensive game to win. You don't. There's two sides to the ball. So even if your shots aren't going down, you know, offensively, you're terrible. It doesn't matter. You could impact the game on the other side, on the defensive end. And Russ did that last night. He was amazing. Like, Russ was amazing last night. It's rare somebody goes 3 of 19 and you're like, man, he was amazing. But Russ was amazing in the fourth quarter when it mattered the most and he won the game. So despite what Skip Bayless is going to say or what, he, or what he's already said, hating on Russ as he always do and cheering for Kevin Durant, I really hope the Clippers take the Suns out because now Skip is going to look stupid with his foot in his mouth and I'm all for it. I can't wait for the Clippers to beat the Suns. I pray they beat the Suns. Because if Russ want to stick it to Skip, this is his best chance. Beat the Suns and make Skip look stupid. And also, Kevin Durant is going to look some kind of way because he went and joined a team that has Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and Aiden. And if he lose, it ain't going to look good for his legacy. Trust me, this is not going to look good. But I hope the Clippers get it done. And I really want to see Russ win, man, just to stick it to Skip because what Skip is doing is not right. This is beyond personal. This is obsession. It's a madness. Who goes that hard at somebody? No matter how well they do, you still have something bad to say. So Russ can't do anything for Skip to say something positive. And that's crazy. But yeah, man, Russ was amazing yesterday. I mean, he surprised me because he was shooting so horrendously that I'm like, okay, but when it mattered the most, the game is on the line. Russ rose like a phoenix, man. He rose like a phoenix. He played great defense. He got multiple offensive rebounds. You know, he got fouled, went to the line, made both shots. It was a swish. Nothing but net. You know, clutch. And he blocked Devin Booker, which sealed the entire game. So the game ball goes to Russell Westbrook. Kawhi was a beast as usual. You know, in the playoff, Kawhi is the real deal. So Kawhi was a beast. KD tried to guard Kawhi, but to no avail. He just can't guard him. Kawhi was killing the Suns. They have no answer for Kawhi. I can guarantee you the next game, they're going to double Kawhi constantly. The next game, Kawhi won't have any one-on-ones. They're going to double him. I mean, that's the best option if you want to beat the Clippers, to be honest. I would double Kawhi and dare everybody else to beat me. That's what I would have done. Skip have some serious issues, man, that he need to deal with because this is obsession. Like, this is crazy. The Clippers had a huge win. It was an upset because nobody saw the Clippers beating the Suns. Everybody had the Suns, even me, including me. I thought the Suns would have got it because just the firepower. I'm like, Kawhi is great, but Kawhi alone can't overcome this. But he did it. Along with Russ and others, they did it. But as always, I holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.